there is a new type of technology emerging which takes robotics to the next level. Known as Avatar Robotics, this new innovation gives the user amplified abilities, which range from increased strength to perfected dexterity. The amazing point about this technology is that it's very early in development, and in the future it actually might be possible to bridge the mind to remote systems. Several institutions have already developed artificial skin, which can respond to painful stimuli in the same way as real skin. But the ultimate connection would somehow be a direct link to the brain. Now, there are some very primitive brain implants which can do this already, but a groundbreaking system would probably be able to remotely fire neurons. Now, if these technologies all pan out, the future is going to be a really weird place because you would be able to directly link to another body or even another life form. But getting back to this reality, there are some really amazing projects which are happening right now. So let's take a look at some of the most amazing remotely controlled robots. One of the earliest pioneers is the THR3, and this was revealed by Toyota a few years ago. Just like many of the VR controlled robots out there, this one allows the user to remotely move its upper body. It does have a few new updates including a master hand controller which executes more delicate tasks with individual finger control. It also has haptic feedback so the user can somewhat feel what the robot is holding. Ground controllers also allow the user to walk around, but this type of system will likely be upgraded to a more modern VR interactive device. Maybe something like the Holotron, where users can have a full force feedback system. So there really is no limitation to the type of control you can have over these types of robots. The next position might seem a little bit counterintuitive, and it's called the Model T. Now this particular stacker is directly controlled by a human using a stock standard VR setup which means that it can be operated anywhere in the world. The Model T has around 22 degrees of freedom and a latency of around 50 milliseconds, which is pretty decent for remote operation. Trials are already being performed and the Model T should be utilized in about 20 stores next year. Now, this does bring up a lot of questions because a human is doing the work anyways, and it does make you wonder if they would outsource the labor to a different country and pay pennies on the dollar. So there definitely would be a balance between labor and equipment costs. But a larger variant in a warehouse or even a work site might actually prove to be very useful. At number 5, the Guardian XT. Sarcos is at the forefront for developing high-end robotic platforms. They have built very impressive remote-controlled vehicles including the Guardian GT. But now the company has built the XT, which works on the progressions made from its predecessors. This variant is great for using a variety of power tools at extreme heights. So the user wears a suit and a headset and operates the platform from the ground. Now the XT is still very early in trials, but visual techs such as AR or even XR can take this type of platform to the next level. So it's going to be very interesting to see where the company takes this in the next couple of years. Now number 4, the Melton Beta. This particular company is once again from Japan and they focus on cybernetic technology to transcend physical limitations. One of their older models used cable-driven operating mechanisms. It was definitely impressive, but their latest variant utilizes the same mechanism, but with a higher degree of accuracy. It also has increased mobility, haptics, gripping strength, and freedom. This allows for a wide diversity of applications, and it helps supplement labor shortages, which is presented by aging populations. The mountain has already been extensively tested, and the company plans to mass produce a model within the next couple of years. At number 3, the CMR Surgical Robot. Billions of people do not have access to safe and affordable surgical care. So this new type of robot might be able to fix this problem because the surgeon can be in a completely different part of the world and still perform remote surgery on the patient. Now CMR Surgical develops some of the most impressive robotics out there and it contains a set of arms which can be controlled by the surgeon who basically sits at a 3D vision console. He has a direct vision input and can manipulate any of the arms at any given time. Theoretically this type of control can be scaled and offer a higher degree of precision to the operator. At number 2, the Gemini series. This newest variant kind of looks like a praying mantis on tracks. It can lift 90 pounds to 400 pounds and achieve an 8 mile per hour speed. Now this is all operated by a full body motion control suit, which emerged from the company's research in VR, motion capture and controller interfaces. 
The suit allows the user to hear, visualize, and control the robot as an extension to themselves. Once again, this is a very good company to follow as they are consistently coming out with new variants every year. The robots we have covered so far have excellent input control, but the brain functions bi-directionally, so you need to be able to feel what the robot is feeling for maximum accuracy. Now, a very interesting project presented by the University of Pittsburgh and UPMC has allowed Nathan Copeland to become the first individual to regain the sense of touch due to a BCI implant in a haptic feedback system. Electrodes in his motor and sensory cortex allow him to move this robotic arm with touch feedback, meaning that he can feel what the robot is touching, and this has dramatically increased his response time. The team also believes that they can improve this system through more trial runs. So the stuff I said at the beginning of the video is not really crazy at all, and it actually is possible to control systems and actually feel outside of your body. At number one, the Jinky Type Zero. The fun fact about robot avatars is that you can build them as big as you want. Now, this particular machine is roughly 20 feet tall and it gives you basically superpowers. The machine has three fingers on each hand, so it can grab and manipulate objects, hopefully not people, to a high degree of accuracy. The operator sits in a very complex operator platform with VR goggles, so it can see through the cameras on the robot and perform these maneuvers in real time. It definitely has Method 1 vibes, but for now it's a stationary platform. However, it does show that there is no limit to robotic avatar technology. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.